Ευλογη 
ήσουν δέσποτα. Ευλογημένη Βασιλεία, blessed is the kingdom of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Εν ειρήνη του Κυρίου δεηθόμεν, Υπέρθησαν οθεν ειρήνης και της σωτηρίας των ψυχών ημών του Κυρίου Δεϊθόμεν. Υπέρ της ειρήνης του σύμπαντος κόσμου, ευσταθίας των Αγίων του Θεού Εκκλησιών και της των πάντων ενώσεως του Κυρίου Δεϊθόμεν. For this holy house and for those who enter it, with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For pious and orthodox Christians, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our Archbishop Alexius, for the honorable priesthood, for the diaconate in Christ, and for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our country, for the president, for all in public service, and for our armed forces everywhere, let us pray to the Lord. For the holy and great Church of Christ, for this holy diocese, for this holy metropolis, and for this parish and city, for every city and country, and for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For favorable weather, for an abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who travel by land, sea, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the captives, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and distress, let us pray to the Lord. And love for us is an apple. Look upon us and upon this holy house in Help us, save Pray. us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. To you, o Lord. For to you belong all glory, honor, and worship to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos and your Sarahs. The Lord has established his throne in heavens, and his kingdom rules over all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Lord, Help God, us, save, save us, us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your, your grace. Sanctify those who love Lord, the beauty of your heaven. Come, ever our most holy, pure, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary. With all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life unto Christ our God. Oh, you are 
So God, by your life, grace, Lord, have mercy. come, Mary, most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another, and our whole life unto Christ our God. Good and loving God, and to you we give glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Master, Lord of God, you establish the heavens the 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 Thank you. 
his herald wolves flies, a holy apostle mark. Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. things in wisdom. Bless the Lord, all my soul. Wisdom. The reading is from St. Paul's letter to the Galatians. Let us be attentive. Brethren, knowing that a man is not justified by works of the law, but through faith in Jesus Christ. Even we have believed in Christ Jesus to be justified by faith in Christ and not by works of the law, because by works of the law shall no one be justified. But if, in our endeavor to be justified in Christ, we ourselves were found to be sinners, is Christ then an agent of sin? Certainly not. But if I build up again those things which I tore down, then I prove myself a transgressor. For I, through the law, died to the law, that I might have lived to God. I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. 
and the life I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself to me. Proskomen. Ose megalin fita erga su kirie, panda e sofia episas. Ευλόγη η ψυχή μου των Κύριων, Κύριε ο Θεός μου, ε μεγαλήν της φόδρα. Οφία προς γαλάτας επιστολής, Παύλου το ανάγνωσμα. Πρόσκομεν. Αδελφοί, οι δότες ότι ούδη και ούτε άνθρωπος εξέργων νόμου, εάν μη διαπίστεως Ιησού Χριστού, και εμείς εις Χριστόν Ιησούν επιστέψαμεν, ή να δικαιωθόμεν εκ πίστεως Χριστού και ούκ εξ έργων νόμου. Διότι εξ έργων νόμου ού δικαιωθήσετε πάσα σάρξ. Οι δε ζητούντες δικαιωθήνε εν Χριστό, ευρέθμεν και αυτοί αμαρτωλοί. Άρα Χριστός αμαρτίας διάκονος, μη γέννητο. Ή γαρ ακατέλησα, Ταύτα πάλι νοικοδομώ, παραβάτην εμ' αυτόν συνίστημη. Εγώ γάρ δια νόμου, νόμο απέθανον ή να Θεό ζήσω. Χριστός συνεσταύρομαι, ζω δε ουκέτη εγώ, ζή δε εν μη Χριστός. Ο δεν ειν ζω εν σαρκή, εν πίστη ζώτη του Υιού του Θεού, του αγαπησαντός με, και παραδόντο σε αυτόν υπέρ μου. Ειρήνη, see peace be with you, the readers. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Shine within our hearts, loving Master, the pure light of your divine knowledge, and open the eyes of our minds that we may comprehend the message of your gospel. Instill in us also reverence for your blessed commandments, so that having conquered sinful desires, we may pursue a spiritual life, thinking and doing all those things that are pleasing to you. For you, O Christ, the God of the light of our souls and bodies, in you we give glory, together with your Father, who is without beginning, and your all holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Wisdom arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with you all. reading is from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Let us be attentive. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. At that time, there came to Jesus a man named Jairus, who was a ruler of the synagogue. And falling at Jesus' feet, he besought him to come to his house for he had an only daughter about 12 years of age, and she was dying. As he went, the people pressed around him, and a woman who had a flow of blood for 12 years and had spent all her living upon physicians and could not be healed by anyone, came up behind him and touched the fringe of his garment, and immediately her flow of blood ceased. And Jesus said, Who was it that touched me? When all denied it, Peter and those who were with him said, Master, the multitudes surround you and press upon you. But Jesus said, Someone touched me, for I perceive that power has gone forth from me. And when the woman saw that she was not hidden, she came trembling and falling down before him, declared in the presence of all the people why she had touched him and how she had been immediately healed. And he said to her, Daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace. While he was still speaking, a man from the ruler's house came and said, Your daughter is dead. Do not trouble the master anymore. But Jesus, on hearing this, answered him, Do not fear, only believe, and she shall be well. And when he came to the house, he permitted no one to enter with him except Peter and John and James and the father and the mother of the child. And all were weeping and bewailing her. But he said, Do not weep, for she is not dead, but sleeping. And they laughed at him, knowing that she was dead. But taking her by the hand, he called, saying, 
child, arise. And her spirit returned, and she got up at once, and he directed that something should be given her to eat. And her parents were amazed, but he charged them to tell no one what had happened. Peace be with you, proclaims the gospel and all of you. Again, we bow before you, our loving God, and ask that you hear our prayer, cleanse our souls and bodies from every defilement of flesh and spirit, and grant that we may stand before your holy altar without blame or condemnation. Grant also, O God, progress in life, faith, and spiritual discernment to the faithful who pray with us, so that they may always worship you with reverence and love, partake of your holy mysteries without blame or condemnation, become worthy of your heavenly kingdom, and grant that always guarded by your power, we may give glory to you. Το πατρί και το Υιό και το Αγίο Πνεύματι νυν και Αγί και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. Αμήν. Ήταν. 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 For your angelic powers, but because of your measurable and immeasurable love for us, you became man with all duration or praise. You asserted the high priest and Lord of all entrusted to us the celebration of this liturgical sacrifice by the shedding of blood. For you alone, Lord, I got over over all things in heaven and on earth. You are seated on the throne of the cherub and the Lord of the seraph and the King of Israel. You alone are holy, dwell among your saints. You alone are good and ready to hear. Therefore, I implore you, look upon me, your sinful and unworthy servant. And cleanse my soul and heart from the evil conscience, enable me by the power of your Holy Spirit, so that vested with the grace of priests that I may stand before your holy table and celebrate the holy and pure body in your precious blood. You I come about head and pray. Do not turn your face away from me, nor reject me from among your children, but rather make me your sinful and unworthy servant, worthy to offer to you these gifts. For you, O Christ, our God of the offer and the offer, the one who receives and distributes and to you give glory. With you, eternal Father, in your all holy, good, and life giving spirit, now and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. I receive the King of Rome, this will be escorted by the angelic host. Hallelujah. According to your fond mercies, blood on my children. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my transgressions and my sin is ever before me. Against you only have I sinned as I need in your sight, that you are justified in the sentence and blameless in judgment. Behold, I was brought forth in iniquity and sin out of the bear me. Behold, you desire truth in the inward being. Therefore, teach me wisdom in my secret heart. Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Fill my heart with joy and gladness. Let the bones that you have broken rejoice. Hide your face away from my sins and blot out all my iniquity. Create me a clean heart, O oh God, and put a new right spirit in me. Cast me not away from your presence, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of salvation, the kingdom of the Holy Spirit. Then they shall teach transgressions your ways, and sinners shall return to you. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, the God of my salvation. And my tongue will sing aloud of your deliverance. For you and no delight in sacrifice, were I to give a broad offering, you would not be pleased. A sacrifice accepted for God is a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart, O God, you will not despise. Do good, O Lord, give a pleasure to Zion. And let the walls of Jerusalem be built. Then they shall offer bullets upon your altar. And have mercy upon me, O God. Mercy 
sinner and save me. Brothers, and forgive me. So there are those who hate us and those who love us. Take up. God has arisen with a loud cry to the Lord at the sound of the trumpet. I will take up the cup of salvation and call upon the name of the Lord. Ο Θεός εν τη βασιλεία αυτού πάντοτε νυν και αγί και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. Πρέι βοηπετός ντρέπτη μάρε το ρε λόρ πρες νυν σαβά το μνιάσκα ντόμνε μνου Dum nezu in true empera, si asa de wade, wana cum se purgase, un veci veci lor. No gospog, bog spomiene, svena tu tsarvo svoje, svada sadak i uvek, i usve vek. El Señor Dios te cuerde de nosotros, en su reino eternamente ora y siempre, por los siglos de los siglos. May the Lord our God remember all of us in his kingdom always now and forever and the ages of ages Sinimonto Kirio, I per tu protestant in mi andoron, tu Kirio dei thomen. Και τον μεταπίστε ω ευλαβία και φόβου Θεού ισιόντων εν αυτό του Κυρίου Δεϊθόμεν. Κύριε Αλλαϊσό. Είπε του ρεστίνε μάτσο που πάσεις, φλίψε ως οργής κινδύνου και ανάγκης του Κυρίου Δεϊθόμεν. Κύριε Αλλαϊσό. Αντιλαβούς όσον ελέησον και διαφύλαξον ημάς ο Θεός της η χάρητη. Κύριε Αλλαϊσό. That the whole day may be 
perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask the Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask the Lord. For the forgiveness and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask the Lord. peace and repentance, let us ask the Lord. And let us ask for a Christian end to our life, peaceful, without shame and suffering, and for a good defense before the awesome judgment seat of Christ. Holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. With all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another in her whole life unto Christ our God. Through you, o Lord. Through the mercies of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life giving Spirit now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be with you And with your spirit. Let us love one another, that with one mind we may confess. The doors, the doors in wisdom, let us be attentive. All together. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not created, of one essence with the Father through whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried. And he rose on the third day according to the scriptures. And he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again with glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom will have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the creator of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshiped and glorified, who spoke to the prophets in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. Stomen kalos, stomen metafovu, proskument in a yen and a foran, and it in the prosperin. Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. On those comments, us, let us lift up our hearts. Let us give thanks 
to the Lord. Right. It, is it is proper and right to sing to you, to bless you, to praise you, to thank you, and to worship you in all places of your dominion. For you are God ineffable beyond comprehension, invisible beyond understanding, existing forever. And always the same, you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. You brought us into being out of nothing, and when we fell, you raised us up again. You did not cease doing everything until you led us to heaven and granted us your kingdom to come. For all these things, we thank you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit for all the things that we know and do not know, for blessings seen and unseen that have been bestowed upon us. We also thank you for this liturgy which you are pleased to accept from our hands. Even though you are surrounded by thousands of archangels and tens of thousands of angels, by the cherubim and the seraphim, six-winged, many-eyed, soaring with their wings, singing the victory hymn, proclaiming, crying out, and saying, <speaking in Hebrew> Holy, holy Lord, Sabaoth, heaven and earth are filled with your glory. Hosanna to God in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna to God in the highest. Together with these blessed powers, merciful master, we also proclaim and say you are holy and most holy, you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. You are holy and most holy and sublime is your glory. You have so loved your world that you gave your only begotten Son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. On the night when he was delivered up, or rather when he gave himself up for the life of the world, he took bread in his holy, pure, and blameless hands. He gave thanks, he blessed, he sanctified, he consecrated, he broke it. He gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you for the remission of sins. Likewise, after supper, he took the cup, saying, Drink of this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. Remembering, therefore, this command of the Savior and all that came to pass for our sake, the cross, the tomb, the resurrection on the third day, the ascension into heaven, the enthronement at the right hand of the Father and the second and glorious coming again. We offer to you these gifts from your own gifts in all and for all. Once again, we offer to you this spiritual worship without the shedding of blood. And we ask, pray, and entreat you, send down your Holy Spirit upon us and upon the gifts here presented. Father, bless the holy bread. And make this bread the precious body of your Christ. Amen. Amen. Father, bless the holy cup. And that which is in this cup, the precious blood of your Christ. Amen. Amen. Father, bless both holy gifts. Changing them by your Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 So that they may be to those who partake of them for vigilance of soul, forgiveness of sins, communion of your Holy Spirit, fulfillment of the kingdom of heaven, confidence before you and not in judgment or condemnation. Again, we offer the spiritual worship for those who repose in the faith. Forefathers, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics, and for every righteous spirit made perfect in the faith. Sophia, 
had the rest of the letter to Catholic China to give him a little orthopedic brothers and sisters in the truth while deacons and presbyters and priests and the church and the service of Christ and everyone in holy orders. Above all, remember, Lord Archbishop Alexios, grant that he may serve your holy churches in peace, keep him safe, honorable, and healthy for many years, rightly teaching the word of your truth. Also remember, Lord, those whom each of us calls to mind, and all your people. And all your people. Remember, Lord, the city in which we live, every city and country, and the faithful who dwell in them. Remember, Lord, the travelers, the sick, the suffering, and the captives, granting them protection and salvation. Remember, Lord, those who do charitable work, who serve in your holy churches, and who care for the poor. And send your mercy upon us all. And we pray, O oh Lord, for those who are enduring religious persecution throughout the world. We pray, O oh Lord, for peace in the Ukraine. We pray, O oh Lord, for peace in the Middle East and for the softening of the hearts of the aggressors. And, Lord, we pray for your servants, Clementini, Ivan, Peter, Ethan, Bo, John, Vasilios, Tula, Joshua, Vasiliki, Zoe, Elizabeth, Eleni, Bree, Theodora, Argyros, Sophia, Laddie, Alexandra, Marlene, Tara, Sylvia, Mary Jane, Peter, Dimitri, and Peter. And grant that with one voice and one heart we may praise and glorify your most honored and majestic name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Mercy of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning. I greet you with much love and joy today on this beautiful Sunday when we celebrate the resurrection of our Lord God and Savior. Each Sunday, we celebrate the resurrection. So the hymns that we hear during Othros and the hymns that we do during liturgy are always focused on the resurrection. As we gather here this morning, allow me to offer a few comments. Last night, we had a beautiful celebration with our Greek language school and also with our daughters of Penelope who sponsored our St. Mark Oiki Day celebration. It was truly a beautiful event to see all these little ones so blessed. I think that's why some of them slept in this morning, and that's okay. They're a little tired. But also, today we celebrate with our daughters of Penelope, Founders Day. And for them, that's a day that they were founded as an organization. And in the church, we honor them today. This morning we did an autocracia. They're going to offer a memorial service as well for those departed. And in the fellowship hall, they actually are, are hosting the beautiful fellowship hour in honor of our St. Mark family to say, thank, to say thank you to you. And that's such a blessing that they're going to be doing that. And I would like to just give a special thank you to Gail Romain, who's the president, who does such a fine job. Their focus is on scholarships. Their focus is on education. They do that with a great job. So Gail, thank you always for being that light and that presence. You'll notice today we have a few extra people at the chant stand, and that's indeed a blessing. They are, I like to call them the Kalina family, and that, of course, is you knew Stephen Kalina, who was a senior at Holy Cross this last year and came to us for Holy Week and chanted and was with us the whole week. He brought with him his brother, Andrew, who's also a graduate of Holy Cross Seminary, and they're his lovely wife, Andrea who two years ago served as the program director for Ionian Village. So it's a family that's definitely blessed in the church. Their father is a deacon and was supposed to be with us for Holy Week last year, but because of the storms, couldn't make it in. So we're hoping for this year. But you'll notice, and allow me to say, 
today that the two of them are wearing a raso. The raso is the exterior garment that a priest wears. There's an andiri, which is the one underneath, and the raso. The raso is given to them their senior year of Holy Cross. It's given on September 14th on the eve, and then that gives them the ability that, blessed by the archbishop, that now they can preach in the church. And that's the beautiful blessing. So today, Stephen is, Stephen is going to preach today, but also at the end of the year, they're given a cross. And that's the cross, of course, of our beloved school, and the two of them are wearing that as well. They didn't bring theirs, but that was Father Alexander's cross and my cross. They borrowed today, but we thank God for them. It's a blessing. Welcome. It's a joy to have you here. The, to, uh, today I'll be leaving for Arizona for our national clergy retreat. Father Peter, who's with us today, and Father Alex will be leaving tomorrow morning at 5 a.m. for the retreat as well. I'm going early to help set up and to prepare it, but this week you'll notice we still have our ministries taking place. We still have our grief share on Monday evenings. Pastor Glick will be leading it. On Tuesday and Friday, our Greek school. But a reminder, there is no Bible study this week and no chant class this week. And on Thursday, there is parakrisi still, but there'll be no synaxis afterwards. Father Alexander has graciously offered, as he always does, to lead us at our parakrisis on Thursday. We're truly blessed. A few ministry announcements. The Joy Fall Festival will be taking place next Friday night. As soon as we land, we'll be coming there, and you can go in the hall today and sign up. Kira Poulos will be there to make collections. Also today, our y'all, our young adult fellowship, is taking place at 6 o'clock at the Beer Garden, sponsored by our Philoptikos, which is indeed a blessing. It'll be an opportunity to gather as young adults and hear the great things taking place. And finally, on November 11th, Keep that in mind. Our Philoptikos is doing a fundraiser, a taste of the world, and all are invited to come. You can go in the hall and see it today. Maria will be in there to offer us the comments about it in the hall to learn about it. It's truly a blessing because all of these monies will go for outreach and philanthropy, and that's the blessing of our Philoptikos. May God bless us all always. Amen. All the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the precious gifts here presented and consecrated, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That our God, who loves mankind, having accepted at his holy, celestial, and mystical altar as an offering of spiritual fragrance, May return and send down upon us the divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Lord have mercy. Having asked for the unity of faith and for the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. To you. We entrust to you, loving Master, our whole life and hope. And we ask, pray, and entreat you, make us worthy to partake of your heavenly and awesome mysteries from this holy and spiritual table with a clear conscience for the remission of our sins, forgiveness of our transgressions, communion of the Holy Spirit, inheritance of the kingdom of heaven, confidence to approach before you and not in judgment or condemnation, and make us worthy, Master, with confidence and without fear of condemnation, to call you the heavenly God, Father, and to say, que cataxios sonimas despota, metaparisias, acatacritos tolman epicalice, se tone puranion theon patera, que leyin. Pater imon, when this puranis, ayestito tonomasu. Erdetu i basiliasu, yenitito to telimasu, Os en uranoi que epitizis, ton artin i monten e piusian, dosim in simeron, que apes i mindo e felimita i mon, os que mis afimes oferetos i mon, que mis enengis is mas is piras mon, alaris e mas apotu poneru. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be with you all. To the Lord. We give thanks to you, loving Master, our whole life and hope. And we pray, O Lord, that you look down from heaven upon those who have bowed our heads before you. They have bowed not before flesh and blood, but before you, the awesome God. Therefore, Master, guide the course of our life for our benefit. According to the need of each of us, sail with those who sail, travel with those who travel, heal the sick, physician of our souls and our bodies. By the grace, mercy, and love of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Let us be attentive, proskumen. This is the holy gifts for the holy people of God. a little bit of an audible today, which means we changed something in football terms. Andrew is going to offer the sermon today, and we're indeed blessed. May God bless you, Andrew. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Uh, I'd first like to start by just saying uh, a thank you for welcoming me and uh, my family into your parish, and uh, I'd like to mention kind of the impact that uh, Father Mark has had in my life. Uh, when I was about eight or nine years old, uh, my father took my brother and I to the seminary in Boston <clears throat> and for an altar boy retreat. And none other than Father Mark was there leading that retreat. So from a very young age, I was experiencing the life of the church and then as a freshman in college, I took one of the OCF real break trips and went to Constantinople. And again, it was Father Mark who was leading that trip. Um, so he has had a very significant impact in my life. And I wanted to speak briefly on the gospel reading today. And there's two remarkable miracles that are kind of woven together in this gospel story. We hear about the healing of the woman with the flow of blood, uh, the issue of flow of blood for 12 years. Um, that takes place while Christ is on his way to perform another miracle. And it's this second miracle that I would like to kind of focus on. We hear about Jairus. He was a ruler in the synagogue. And he had a 12-year-old daughter and we hear that his daughter was sick and she was dying. And for anyone who may have lost a child at any age, whether they were unborn, if, if anyone has experienced a miscarriage, we can only think of what kind of pain Jairus and his wife might have been 
going through, knowing that they were about to lose their child. As an aside, somebody had shared with me last year when they heard this gospel reading. Earlier in the week, they had experienced for themselves a miscarriage, had buried their child, and when they came to church on Sunday, they heard this gospel reading, and in the latter half of it, we hear when Christ finally is going to make his way to heal the child, he says, child, arise. And they told me that when they heard this in church, they just, they lost it. They just broke down in tears, hearing that child arise a few days after they had buried their own child. And for those of us who may not have experienced the loss of a child, it's not very difficult to try to understand, particularly today, when we're seeing so many unfortunate images from the Middle East and children that are losing their lives over in the Middle East. So with all of this pain, with all of this suffering, what did Christ say to Jairus in the midst of this when he's undergoing all of these emotions? He says, do not fear, but believe. Now Jairus as a ruler in the synagogue, he had not yet come to know what what the bodily resurrection looked like. This, this hadn't taken place yet. And so how much more is Christ asking of this synagogue ruler to believe when the fullness of, the fullness of what was to come was not truly experienced? And if we think about what the physical death of a child means. And then we take a step back and think of what the spiritual death means. We all are children of God. We all are his children. And how much more infinitely does he love us and experience the pain and suffering when we, when he comes and he finds us and we are spiritually dead. We are so enveloped by anger or enveloped by a bitterness, whatever it may be, if it's some, a relationship with a family member that has upset us or a friend or a business partner, a patient, whatever it may be in our lives that, that has whatever vice, whatever has taken us away from living that life in Christ and truly being his child, how much more does he weep and suffer knowing that he has lost us? And we're only a couple weeks away now from the start of the Advent season, the time of preparation before the child himself comes into the world, is, takes on flesh, and God becomes man for our sake. In the spring, when we have the Lenten season in preparation for Pascha, there is a period of time, the Triodion, before the Lenten season that prepares us for the preparation. And we might think of this time as equivalent, a time for us to begin to start to prepare for the preparation for the child, the Christ child, to come into the world and for us to open our hearts up for what that might mean to impact our lives. So may we as his children understand those words that were spoken to Jairus and to not fear, but to believe. In the name of the Father and Son and the Holy Spirit, amen. Church is in good hands.
if I didn't say we know that St Stephen is in his graduated Holy Cross in his first year of medical school, Andrew graduated Holy Cross, finished his residency, and now applying for his fellowships, and that's what brought him down here. So God willing, we're praying that he gets accepted so Andrea and Andrew can be part of our church. We would hope and pray, so may God bless it. Let us all rise and read together the prayers before receiving the body and blood of Christ. I believe and confess, Lord, that you are truly the Christ, the Son of God who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the first. I also believe that this is truly your pure body and this is truly your precious blood. Therefore, I pray to you, have mercy upon me and forgive my transgressions, voluntary and involuntary, in word and deed, known and unknown and make me worthy without condemnation to partake of your pure mysteries for the forgiveness of sins and for life eternal. Amen. How shall I, who am unworthy, enter into the splendor of your saints? If I dare to enter into the bridal chamber, my clothing will accuse me, since it is not a wedding garment, and being bound up, I shall be cast out by the angels. In your love, Lord, cleanse my soul and save me. Loving Master, Lord Jesus Christ, my God, let not these holy gifts be to my condemnation because of my unworthiness, but for the cleansing and sanctification of soul and body and the pledge of the future life and kingdom. It is good for me to cling to God and to place in Him the hope of my salvation. Receive me today, Son of God, as a partaker of your mystical supper. I will not betray your mysteries to your enemies, nor give you a kiss as did Judas, but as a thief, I confess you. Remember me, Lord, in your kingdom. O peace, Deus, que haga peace pro selfeter. With the fear of God, with faith, love, draw near.
Son of Theos, the Mount Sukevlo, you son the incredible Romian, so save all God your people and bless your inheritance. We have seen the true light, we have received the Holy Spirit, we have found the true faith, worshiping the undivided Trinity. Exalted, O God, above the heavens, and let your glory be over all the earth. Blessed is our God. Always, now, and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Arise, having partaken in the divine, holy, pure, myrtle, heavenly, life creating awesome mysteries of Christ. Let us worthily give thanks to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Having prayed for a perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless day, let us commend ourselves in one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. To you, o Lord. We thank you, loving Master, benefactor of our souls, that on this day you have made us worthy once again of your heavenly and immortal mysteries, your precious body and blood. Direct our ways in the right path. 
establish us firmly in your fear, guard our lives, and make our endeavors safe through the prayers and supplications of the glorious Theotokos and ever-Virgin Mary and of all your saints. For you are our sanctification, and to you we offer glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us depart in peace. Pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord, bless those who praise you and sanctify those who put their trust in you. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Protect the whole body of your church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of your house. Glorify them in return by your divine power and do not forsake us who hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to those in public service, to the armed forces, and to all your people. From every perfect gift is coming from you, the Father of lights, and to you we give glory, thanksgiving, honor, and worship. To the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Blessed is the name of the Lord, but now and to the ages. Toto machiri ui, eploi mano, apotuni keosueono. We pause and offer a mimosina memorial prayers. All very people who are very important to our church. Mary Tamaris, a two-year anniversary. A five-year for Calliope Papandoniu. A nine-year for Gus Spiridon. A ten-year for Andreas Sanakakis. A 20-year for Christopher John Douglas. And a memorial offered by our Philopticos for our daughters of Penelope for those who have passed on. We pray that our Lord will give each of them eternal rest in his kingdom. Metafermato di che on te telio menon, das rihason zulon su, so teran apavson, filato naftas, istin macarian zoin, tim parasi filanthrope. In your place of rest, O Lord, where all your saints repose, give rest also to the souls of your servants, for you alone are immortal. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Simono catabas is sadin, Keta so dinas lisas ton pepe di menon, Aftos ketas psychas ton dulon su, so teranop of so. Now and forever and to the ages of ages, Amen. O pure and immaculate virgin, who ineffably gave birth to God, pray for the salvation of the souls of your servants. Please give rest, we pray, O Christ, to the souls of your servants, where there is no pain, no more sorrow, nor suffering, but life everlasting. God, according to your great mercy, we pray to you, hear us, and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray.
pray for the rest of the souls of God's servants, Mary Calliope, Gus Andreas, Christopher, the souls of departed members of the daughters of Penelope, who have all fallen asleep, and for the forgiveness of all their sins, both voluntary and involuntary. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. May the Lord God place their souls where the righteous repose. Let us ask for the mercies of God, the kingdom of heaven, and the remission of their sins. From Christ, our immortal King and God. Grant this, O Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. O God of spirits and of all flesh, who trampled upon death and abolished the power of the devil, and given life to your world, give rest, O Lord, to the souls of your servants Mary, Calliope, Gus, Andreas, Christopher, and the souls of the daughters of Penelope who have fallen asleep in a place of light, in a place of comfort, in a place of refreshment where there is no more pain, sorrow, or suffering. As a good and loving God, forgive every sin which they have committed, whether in word or deed or thought. For there is no person who lives and does not sin except for you, the only sinless one. Your righteousness is eternal righteousness, and your word is truth. our God, are the resurrection, the life, and the blessed repose of your pre-departed servants, whose name we have commemorated this day, who have fallen asleep, and to you we offer glory together with your eternal Father and your all holy good and life-giving Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Eternal be your memory, our dear brothers and sisters, worthy of blessedness and eternal memory. May your memory be eternal, our brothers and sisters, who are worthy of blessedness and eternal memory. Amen. come upon you through his divine grace and love for us always, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to your God, our hope, glory to you. May Christ, our true God, who rose from the dead, is a good, loving, and merciful God of mercy upon us and save us through the intercession of his most pure and holy mother, the power of the precious and life-giving cross, the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, the supplications of the honorable glorious prophet and forerunner John the Baptist, the holy glorious and praise of the apostles, 
Jesus, the holy and righteous answers of God, Joy Kimenana, of St. Mark the Evangelist, the patron saint of our church, of St. Anastasia the Rome, of Rome, whose memory we commemorate today, and of all your saints. Have mercy upon us and save us, for you are a good God who loves mankind. Through the prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. and keep all of you this day and always. Amen. This is a day that the Lord has made. Let us all rejoice and be glad in it. We, welcome, we offer you and invite you next door for our liturgy after the liturgy. Our daughters of Penelope have a beautiful fellowship hour of they sponsored. And there's not often that I can do this, but I like to say to my dads, can you guys help me out and please give Andidron today so we can get over there. Thank you both. Turn the sound off again. Oh, what's too high? That's too high. You sure that's not too low? Not it's better than just too low. Most clear and most rare. 